Do I always pick the golem hero with tower? Excellent question, and the answer is yes, I do. I, you know, if you consider the starting armies of the tower heroes, it's pretty much everybody is gremlins, gargoyles, and then golems. Uh, the exception is like Taurasar, who brings a ballista instead of... Um, is it gargoyles he doesn't get, or is it golems he doesn't get? I can't remember, but but uh, but obviously Taurasar with the ballista, and then um, Josephine with the two golems, and Picodram with the three gargoyle stacks. So most heroes bring golems, uh, pretty much everybody, but Picodram brings gremlins, and the master gremlins are your primary threat in the early game when you're trying to get to your lamps and stuff to transition into la you either want to get lamps or cloud temples or if you have to like genie dwellings or naga dwellings or something but the master gremlins will carry the damage so obviously you don't want to get pickwood ram at the start because he is one of the few that doesn't give you gremlins that's 30 to 40 gremlins that you miss out on um then you have to consider you know the spell books alchemists are the might class however they all start with a spell book as tower uh josephine starts with haste there's a few that start with haste but josephine does and that matters because the golem stack with the plus one from josephine passive and the plus one from snow terrain you're actually looking at speed five golems on terrain in a large number because of the extra stack from josephine the speed five plus three from basic haste is eight well, speed 8 on a wait turn into a double move will cross against most early game shooters. Your marksmen, your lizardmen, your elves, you know, ice elementals, master gremlins, whatever it is. Like, range stacks like that you can actually cross against with golems. Haste, I think, is a, a very important uh, spell for tower early on. Uh, you have five possible scholars, including Iona, in this case. There's five scholars for tower. You're guaranteed a tower hero in your tavern uh, at the start of your week, if you're playing tower or whatever faction you're playing, but you're guaranteed one, one hero of your faction at the start. So given the number of scholars, you're like, it's essentially one in three to hit a scholar, which will then let you play off of Josephine and just keep the haste. Some people will play Fafner, because Fafner does the same thing that Josephine does, but half the golems, but guarantee the haste scholar. I would rather leave the scholar to chance and guarantee the extra golems, because I can then use them as a viable threat in in fights where I need to take down a range stack without losing gremlins, and they're also a better wall in fights where I need to protect my gremlins against something difficult, and I haven't hit a bunch of genies yet. Obviously, if you get a high roll and you get a couple of lamps, you know, and you immediately have like 15 genies, then it doesn't really matter who you've started at that point. Once you're rolling, you're rolling, but you try and give yourself the best chance to get rolling. A lot of players will start Solmir, and my concern with Solmir is that not only do you not guarantee haste, but you only get one chain lightning uh, without having to rest, and in the early game, that's not even enough to deal with like a big stack of range so if you fight lots of marksmen with josephine you clear them for some fodder cost you fight them with solmir you clear them for your mana and some fodder cost and if you try to elevate it to like a horde of archers or something solmir can't do it level one josephine could with enough golems so it's not that big of a deal. Obviously, the Solmir start is better if you get rolling right away, because Solmir himself is a stronger hero. But you don't try to play the Josephine. You try to play arguably anybody else in your tavern, because their starting skills are atrocious, particularly sorcery is one of the weakest skills. Mysticism is okay if you spam, but sorcery is awful. So you try to get off of Josephine right away, but she brings the right utility. Because at four to five golems per, you know, it's a significant chunk that you're getting uh, if you do hit, if you do start Josephine. So obviously, if you get one of those maps where it's like immediately big helmet, easy lamp, big chest plate, you might be like, damn, I could have been Solmir. But because there are so many variables, the right way to play is to get yourself a start that's more consistent. Truly, with Tower, you can make an argue for anything, and it comes down to personal preference to a degree, because with the exception of, like, Piquidram, you know, so many things are potentially viable without looking at the map. 
He said, I, I see plenty of people start fafter these days, not wanting to take the risk on missing the scholar. I'm willing to gamble on the 30% that I get a scholar from just my tower hero alone, forgetting, you know, all the other heroes potential on the in, in the tavern as well. So I think it's a good question, but considering the build path, golems are also mandatory for altar of wishes. You can't skip it. It's not like you're going to skip your golem build in town. And with Josephine, you don't even have to go Iron Golems if you want Golems to be faster, so you can save yourself some some build there. But you could also go Iron Golems depending on the level of threat that you're trying to work with, so... I like... I like her as a start. I really do. Obviously, I've had some maps where Solmir would have ended up being better. Um... But there are other heroes than Solmir anyway when it comes to the magic users. You know, if you think of... Is Solmir particularly better than, like, Aislinn or Deemer with the Meteor Showers? Not really. In fact, you could argue that the Necromancer is stronger than the Wizard and that the Warlock is stronger than the Wizard. So the, and, and, you know, you can also get, like, Alamar and Jedi with the Resurrections and stuff like that. He's certainly better than, like, Zyron with Inferno, you know. But it's not like it's not like uh Solmir is a hero that I would always play every single map regardless of what I see in front of me type thing like this might be okay for Solmir right you have obviously an excellent necklace there and an excellent chest plate there which really elevates Solmir quite a bit uh even if I don't find much else I can say well look I can force some nice stats on Solmir have a big chain lightning but you don't always get easy to play great stats for spell power um and I guess anybody can play those Wood Elves. I can handle those Wood Elves. I would have liked Josephine for him, but I didn't see him with her. So, 